What about constitutional change in Canada? What about our Triple E Senate? You remember the Reform Party used to talk about that? Well, constitutional change in Canada, I want to tell you right now, is impossible. Yeah, that's right. It's impossible. And the most significant constitutional change that Western Canadians always wanted was a Triple E Senate. That is, elected, equal between provinces, and effective. We have an appointed Senate, entirely appointed by the Prime Minister. You see, the Reform Party tried to accomplish a Triple E Senate, and you know what happened? They became almost the government, they became the opposition, and even if they became the government, they could never establish a regionally elected Senate because it would require approval from Ontario, which now has all the political power in the Supreme Court, all the political power in the House of Commons, and they're not going to give it up. It would require also the consent of Quebec. Well, they'll never give it up either. And without Ontario and Quebec support, constitutional change is impossible under the British North America Act, even as it is interpreted after 1982 when we had that big constitutional crisis. I'm not going to go over the whole history of the thing, but I'm just going to tell you very clearly that constitutional change to fundamentally alter the balance of power which is what Western Canada has wanted and would continue to want, is impossible in Canada for the simple reason that if we were to uh, accomplish it, Ontario and Quebec would lose the political monopoly on power that they have because Ontario alone has one-third of the seats in the House of Commons, in fact more than one-third, and Quebec makes up uh, virtually the rest so that Western Canada as we've seen in many elections, hasn't got the political power to elect the government at any time. Ontario alone, plus about half of Quebec, would make the government a majority government. So that's why Stephen Harper and all the rest of them, the Reform Party, are basically a fraud upon Western Canadians. They can never make a change. In order to get elected, they have to go to Quebec and Ontario on their knees. And they do. That's why they campaign there all the time. So constitutional change is impossible, and political change for the West, in favor of the West, is also impossible. Free the West.